Hey everyone, it's Drea Dana, and I am here with um, lesson number 12. And it's the first one of the new year. Um, Happy New Year. It's 2017. I, I hear that's, that's what's happening. Um, so uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. And um, I did go through all the previous lessons that I've done to kind of uh, remember exactly um, what I had gone over already um, so I could make more cohesive lessons for you and not be um, reiterating or missing things. Um, I did find going through that that I do have a lot of holes in there so I'm going to probably go through in the next couple lessons and um, just go over some more some beginner things, some foundational stuff that I feel that um, I should have gone over um, and maybe add some more songs in there. But anyways, I just kind of with this lesson I wanted to um, go over exactly the key things that I taught you, the techniques, and talk about how you can um, meld them together to play the blues. Because you have all the tools that you need now to play the blues. Uh, you have everything you need. Um, I gave you the beginner's blues scale, both partial and complete. I gave you also, last time, I taught you how to, or not last time, but a couple lessons ago, I taught you how to um, do a four-hole draw bend. So that means I was able to give you almost the complete partial blue scale, the actual one that I use to this day, um, um, except for I didn't have the three draw half step bend because we are not there yet with our skill set. Well, maybe you are, but um, I'm catered this completely to the beginner because I started out with even how to hold a harmonica, what harmonicas to buy, um, how to breathe properly. Let's see. I talked about basic rhythms, a couple different trains, how to stomp your feet, um, how to build a stomp box like I did. Um, I also just built a kick drum. Someone gave me a, um, a old Samsonite suitcase and then someone gave me a um, foot pedal for um, the bass drums and um, I made a drum so that is part of my sound. Now you can see I did a, I redid a blues I know is bad put that lesson or that song up and it's on my Facebook and on my um, YouTube channel. Sorry. Sorry, I just did a full lesson for you guys and then my computer erased it. So I'm like sitting here checking my computer to make sure everything's going okay. I hope it is because I really want to get this out to you guys and I just wasted, um, it ended up being a 30 minute lesson. So I'm going to try to talk faster about because I already did it. Um, give this one more try. <laughs> Um, talked about different trains, the duck and knack train, draw, blah, blah, draw, the train whistle, a couple different train whistles, and um, just the double stops, the chords, um, the partial chords you can do. Um, then I applied that to the blues and um, Manish Boy um, by Muddy Waters, and we talked about how to take those train rhythms but use them in a different order, but the same exact thing, but you're going to turn it into the blues by going, Oh, when I was younger, about the age of five, my mother said I was going to be, um, that type of thing, and how you could write your own song, because I was just writing my own right then. Um, well, not, I was kind of changing the words uh, to being female, so never mind. Uh, I talked to you about how to clean your harps or how I was cleaning my harps. Um, there's better ways to do that, I found out. Um, that's one of my news resolutions is how to actually um, tune these babies and really clean them, um, do stuff like overbends. Um, all of my harps are out of tune really badly um, and um, they have been for a couple years. But I presently cannot get new harmonicas so I, I I just um just like a violin player has a bow and they get on the strings and they get the right note that way by adjusting the bow I do the same thing like with my tongue um, so some notes that maybe I um, should be just a clean note with no bend I'm having to bend slightly because I'm just using my ear to get there so that way I am in key and that's just something I do. Um, 
started kind of uh, subconsciously, but that's when I thought about it, that's what I do. Um, and then I talked to you guys about Wawa's and like um, different types of Wawa's and things to do with your hands, at least to the beginner level, like or that's like campfire stuff or straight up kind of a Wawa. <laughs> that wasn't a good one. Um, talked about the 12 hour blues progression a lot. Um, I taught you guys Piano Man, that was the beginning of your ear training. Um, how to go from a single note to a chord, how to breathe properly, uh, scale degrees for first and second position, um, tension and resolution, call and response to the musical conversation you have. Um, all of these are in the previous lessons, if you're getting confused right now. Um, how to break a rut and get motivated to play. That was from a question from someone. Um, a bunch of different ideas to keep things interesting, to keep yourself practicing and playing and still getting better without feeling like it's practice. Um, warbling, uh, glissando, swells, vibrato, and a basic turnaround. And um, so I just want to talk about how you could apply that all To your improvisation and how you have all the tools you need to actually really to really play the blues now. It's not exciting. All you have to do is take these techniques and add some emotion. You can even write your own blues songs now because I've given you some rhythms and that's what I've been doing. Um, talked about a basic turnaround. I drew out the 12 bar blues scale again so maybe it would be easier to understand um, the Roman numerals. One um, represents, this is 12 boxes, so 12 bar blues. So that's the one chord for four measures. Then it goes to the four for two, the one for two, then the five, four, one, back to the one or the five, and I would turn around and a little turnaround notation. And I also put these dots that's representing the beats. So it's one, two, three, four, two is in the second measure. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. I also wanted to show you a different um, way that I've seen it written out. I recently started trying to learn the piano. Um, I used to play as a kid, but, um, and I started trying as an adult, and then I, with all of my traveling and stuff, I can't really have this piano in my car, so I, um, just started picking it up again and I just got through all of the um, boring stuff like uh, Joy to the World and, and I got to the beginning blues piano and they had it written out this way so I wanted to show it to you and first I want to read it. Um, music called the blues has been a part of the American musical heritage. We find it in the music of many popular songwriters in ballads, boogie and rock, in jazz and country. Um, <laughs> blues music follows a basic formula. That is a standard chord progression. If you learn the formula for the 12 bar blues, you will be able to play the blues in any key that you learn simply by applying the formula to that key. And they wrote the formula out in a cool way. They just wrote it out. They wrote four measures of the one chord, two measures of the four chord, two measures of the one chord, one measure of the five chord, one measure of the four chord, and two measures of the one chord. And they just wrote it like that. So this might make sense to some of you guys more than my picture. Because we all learn in different ways, as we know. So there that is. And then here's the music for it. This is some sheet music. Um, so it's the one, 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 to the four for two. And back to the one for two. Got the five, four, one, and one. Um, and this one is in um, the key C, so it's the C chord to the F and then to the G7. And you can pause it if you need to because I'm afraid that um, my computer must not be saving it because my computer's memory is full. Um, and I don't want that to happen again because I literally spent one hour um, already and I don't get paid to do this. But if you want pay uh, lessons and you want to help me get paid, there's a way to do that. Um, go to my website. Uh, and yeah, and I also have a PayPal. Um, you just put my email address, Dre Van Allen at uh, gmail.com. Um, 
or you go to my website and you can get a lesson with me or I can critique your music for a nominal fee. Um, the lessons, uh, the private lessons vary in price depending on the length. So if you're interested in that, please do that. Tell your friends. Um, share my page. Check out my Facebook. Like my Facebook music page. Brave um, I want to now count out the blues with this one more time. I've done this before, but just to reiterate with this um, little blues track I found for free offline in the key of G. I have a C harmonica as usual. Um, so it's kind of that's going to go for two measures as, um, as an intro. So don't count that. It's just for the beginning. So this is this is just the intro right now, okay? And now, and you're here cues. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. You hear the guitar cueing you that it's about to change. Four. So I just wanted to do a little short improvisation about um, using some of the techniques that I've taught you. And um, in order for me to use all of the techniques that I've taught you in just 11 lessons, um, I could improvise for the rest of my life. So I'm just going to do two bars and I'm going to stay away from bending except for the four hole draw bend and I'm going to try to stay away from tongue blocking. I have recently gotten really into tongue blocking. Thank you to Dee Carp who uh, taught me so much this past year in Mississippi in Clarksdale. Um, I was doing some tongue blocking but I was not doing it all and not doing it very much. It was just like, yeah, I know how to do that. Check the box. Yep. But I wasn't really applying it. So now I've just been really into that. And thank you, Deke, if you're watching. Um, and if you guys are ever in Clarkstown, Mississippi, make sure you go by his shop and buy some stuff. All right. <laughs> so I got to see harmonica. I'm going to go for like two measures. Remember, it's the intro first. I'm going to do a little intro something. the one right there. Um, 
the train whistle with a little bit of a bend on it because you know how to do that now because I did the four hole in five um, train whistle with a slightly bend on it. I can go more into that. Um, yeah, I did the triplet, slow triplet I did, um, which was just four draw, four draw bend, four blow just over and over. Um, did a lot of wah-wahs, a lot of hanging on the two because it's a root note like we talked about. Um, yeah, and then at the end I just did um, some like chugging type stuff because that was the train stuff that you can put into your playing as well. It doesn't have to always just be a train, which you talked about as well. Uh, yeah. So that was just a little something just to show you what you can do. Um, just a tiny, tiny morsel of what you can do. Um, and you also notice I was leaving some space. Um, music's not just always about the music. Sometimes it's about the space you leave and for people to absorb what was just said musically. Um, from the licks. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys that. Um, the next few lessons I'll probably be going in, um, filling in mm. some holes of techniques and foundational stuff. Uh, who knows? I don't, I'm not going to say I'm planning because I'm not. But I need to sign off here so my computer doesn't kick me off and I didn't waste more time. And besides, I've got complaints for me teaching free lessons that are too long, giving too much information from people, um, which is kind of silly to me um, because I'm not being paid. Um, and who cares? If it's too long for you, freaking pause it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So thank you for the new subscribers. Please share with your friends. Um, I'm happy to tell you guys that I um, just came from uh, practice. I'm sorry if I'm reiterating this. I don't remember what I said in the last lesson and what I said in this one now. Um, I just got back from uh, practice, um, my first one ever, and I um, found some people that want to play music with me and I'm starting um, my own band with my own music so it won't just be solo. Um, I have a bunch of new stuff out there. I have a bunch of new songs. Um, I have vlogs about my journeys, my musical journeys. I'm still kind of stuck here. Um, I start a job finally this week. Very bittersweet because y'all know that I did not do everything I did just to go work at a uh, entry level job. Anyways, uh, always just stick with the best. Um, I'm gonna try to get at least two lessons out a month um, or more, and I have more stuff for you, but I'm gonna sign off now because I'm afraid of being cut off. I'm sorry, I love you guys all. Um, thanks again, and I'm so happy that I've acquired so many new um, followers uh, and thank you for your support and please just keep following my story I have some music up on CD baby some my first single um, that I recorded a year ago the original Den's Long Gone and then with my old band um, Slide and Delta where I have Long Way From Home I'm singing and playing harp but I'm playing harp on all tracks and um Yes, yeah, so you check that out. That's CD Baby. You could just Google my name, Drea Van Allen, and it'll pop up in my Facebook. Um, my website's DreaVanAllen.com if you wanted to do lessons. And thank you so much. I love you all. Um, love and light to you. And I will see you when I see you. Hopefully soon. Bye-bye.